safety first thing we have to talk about in fly fishing you see me with these glasses on all the time it's not just because i want to look good in front of the camera it's because you don't want any flies or fly lines or anything hitting your eyes that's the fundamental thing you must do every time you go fly casting practicing or fishing get a pair of glasses okay these glasses are Ray-Bans, I just like them. They are polarized. What does polarized mean? Polarized means that it takes the reflection off the top of the water. So if I want to see for a fish, taking that glare off that water means I can see into it and hopefully see the murky shadow. These are another pair of glasses and these have a prescription in the bottom. So, you know, I'm getting on a bit and I need to, a little bit of help tying these flies on. So when I'm fishing small stuff, I use these types of glasses, still polarized, but they've got this little magnification in them. Another good safety tip is wear a hat. I don't wear them all the time, but when I do, I'm grateful for it. Hat primarily when you fly fishing, reduces glare from your glasses it's a visor isn't it so again it reduces that light reflecting off the water making it easy for us to spot the fish we're fishing for very important when we're finding individual fish stalking wild fish for instance that's when i'd use a cap or if it's just so sunny like it is today just to keep the sun off my head it offers a little bit of protection you know if a fly hits you at the back of the head it's better than it going in your head the most important thing we have to consider when fly casting in terms of safety is to keep the hook away from you okay you need to keep that fly line away from you you need to keep that hook away from you here's a little practice rod if i'm making a cast i'm keeping that line way over to that side way over to that side i can if i want bring the rod and bring it more directly over my head but i have to be very careful i have to make some adjustments there so the primary thing to do is to always consider to keep the fly and the fly line off to the side of your body another consideration when you're fishing or practicing is whatever hand you're casting with in this case my right hand Always make sure if somebody stood next to you, they're stood on the opposite side. Many times I see people, you know, they'll be casting away and somebody will just come up and stand on the casting side. And basically, you've managed to avoid keeping the fly away from yourself only to stick it in somebody else. So whenever you're casting, make sure nobody is on your casting side that could get hit. Some people, when they're casting on grass, like to put a little bit of wool on the end of their leader to represent the fly. It's better than having a fly on with a hook because the hook would dig into the grass and it would fly at you and it'd be unpleasant. However, I prefer to leave no wool on whatsoever because when the line comes through the grass, even the little bit of wool kind of gets stuck and it adds slack in the cast and it gives you an unpleasant effect. Another reason is that if you don't put any wool on the end of your leader, you can stop the dreaded whip crack effect. Now, if you put a piece of wool on, that whip crack is either less or gone entirely, but the problem is still there. So if you don't put any wool on the end of your leader when you're practicing, you are more likely to hear a fault. And if you can hear it, you can fix it.